Hi, I'm Annie Pooling, and I'm a home educated filmmaker. And today I'm talking about how to deal with mess ups. The more people who are involved in your production, the greater the chances are that someone will mess up or there'll be a miscommunication or a misunderstanding. There are so many different things that have to be juggled and remembered that sometimes things get forgotten. How you deal with mess ups and miscommunications really affects how your production will run. So say you ask someone to make sure that the batteries for your camera were charged and they forgot. You get to set, you're setting up your camera and you realize all of the batteries are dead. This is a huge problem. Production has to totally stop because you can't shoot anything. So how do you respond to that? Getting mad and chewing out the person who messed up doesn't help anyone and it wastes time. If you are standing there yelling or getting angry and treating everyone badly, they're not doing anything, you're not doing anything, everything comes to a stop and it's really not a nice way to treat people. The best way for you to respond to a problem like this is to start looking for solutions as quickly as possible. And it's up to you to find the best solution for what you're doing. So if you have dead batteries, is there other batteries you could use? Did somebody else happen to have batteries? How long will it take to charge your batteries if you have to wait for that? Can you use a different camera that has charged batteries? Can you shoot later? And so juggling all of that and finding the best solution, that's what you should be doing as soon as you realize there's a mess up like that. And sometimes it's little things that get messed up, like someone forgot a prop. Can you do without it? Can you send someone to go back for it? Do you have time to wait? Can we shoot something else instead? Just find the solution as quickly as possible. One of the actors forgot their script or didn't memorize their lines. Here, have my script run through your lines right now as we're driving to the location. It's just, if you stop and get mad, you're just wasting the time that you could be using to fix the problem. If someone messes up, they probably already feel really bad about it and they don't need you to yell at them for it. So let it go, tell them you forgive them and figure out the solution. You have to have grace for everyone and having grace means overlooking mistakes and not letting mistakes personally offend you, not getting mad about them. You have to accept that having a bigger production means having more people and more people means like I said, the greater chances of mess ups. You just have to realize that that's part of the job. Filmmaking is full of mess ups and miscommunications. And if you blow up about every single one of them, you'll never get anything done. And no one will ever want to work with you again. That's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and it gave you something to think about. If you'd like to follow along with the Homegrown Filmmaker series, then you could hit subscribe below. We love subscribers. Um, if you'd like to learn more about Rogue Zohu Productions and what we do, we do have a website, which is roguezohu.com. And if you'd like to leave a question or a comment, you can leave that here on YouTube, on our Facebook page, or on our website. We read them all. I'm Annie Pulling, and thanks for watching. I feel like I should make some bloopers or something. <laughs> Effects, how your product, <sighs> things get forget, forgotten. Things get forgotten. Maybe, ah, how to deal with, shoot, dang it. I messed up. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, they're just little things like, I forgot the greens. <laughs> no, that's a big thing. Problems, <laughs> being a prediction. <laughs> a prediction? <laughs> that having a predict. <laughs> Wow, I cannot do it. That's kind of loud. We read them. We read them all. We read all the comments. Is that it? Are we done?